Well, we'll see. Uh, do you think anyone will go for the gold? It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing Nurchio won't. So maybe <laughs> Teffel will. We'll have to see, of course. Speaking of these players, in the top right, we have the Polish player from Team Acer. He is Nurchio. Go follow him on Twitter at Acer Nurchio. And his opponent in the top left, he is the other Polish player from Team Dignitas. Playing the Green Zerg, he is Teffel. Wish we had like a live audience with applause and stuff yeah. like that. I, I almost for a second thought that think if we could like link in on voice the chat and then just remember <laughs> how bad idea that would be. <laughs> like no. No, that would be horrible. <laughs> so yeah, no. But yeah, a live audience would be really cool. But uh, maybe next time. We don't know. Imagine um, when they started doing that with certain voice programs and chats where people just ask questions and then some guy would be like, So, uh, derpa derpa kappa lol. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have that. Oh, man, that would be so horrible. Like, now back to the audience. And everyone was like, Erp, derp, burp, burp, burp. No. <laughs> that was like 2011. Now it would just be kappa, 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 kappa. Yeah. <laughs> what song is this? What song is it? <laughs> What song is this? Sandstorm? No, it's 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 never Dirt Sandstorm. No, it's always that's, Dirt that's Sandstorm. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, that's true. It's always. It doesn't matter what it's what's on the playing. It's always Dirt Sandstorm. Exactly. Both these players going for mirror builds. From the look of it, they are getting a standard timing on their spawning pool, and then going into a hatchery. So wanting to be slightly safer, don't want to lose this last game to cheese. And both the overlords are able to. Since the p positions are rather close by air on this map, Overlord's able to see absolutely everything, so both guys are going to basically do the exact same thing as they need to, as they don't want to get caught with their opponent having zone speed and them not. Hmm. Just checked out the stream here. You're looking good in your apartment or room or what you're sitting in. It's actually a frat house. Alright. <laughs> so you have people running into your room with like. Hey! It's yeah. time to party and study! I'm from... I'm on the east coast of the United States though, so it's 9.30 a.m. I'm probably the only person in this house that's awake. <laughs> Alright, on a Sunday, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, here it's... Uh, uh, 15.30, so it's uh, later in the day, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, so we, we're starting quite earlier for you. <clears throat> Both players are quite mirroring each other's build right now, and uh, if everything is going right, we're going to see a speed coming up from Teffel here in uh, now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so speed is going to finish a bit earlier for Nurtio, which, um, well, he could go for a full aggression, but um, not sure he will. This is actually the deciding map, so uh, both players are probably going to do it quite safe. Yeah, it seems like Nurchi already building that bailing nest. It looks like he's trying to be as safe as possible. And but um Teffel is going to get a small advantage if he just keeps droning up a little bit more than Nurchio, so we will see how this turns out. And Teffel does have a small drone advantage, actually a pretty significant drone advantage. He's gonna have five more as soon as these finish up here. And mm. um, the question is, is Nurchio gonna you see he's saving up on minerals right now. Are these going to go into... Uh, Zerglings? Yeah, they are. Alright. So we're looking for more Zerglings in production. Um, six of them, which put him up to... Eight in total. Which might be able to do some damage, but the Baneless is actually being finished very, very soon here in Teffel's base. So, and also there's a spine at the front, so I don't think they will be able to do anything significant. But you never know, he could snipe a queen with him. Uh -huh. All right. So the Lings are going to come in, they're going to see the spine core is not quite done, so they're actually going to be able to get on top of this queen now. Of course, one drone going to get picked off as well, so Nurchio going to get out with those links. So, a great engagement so far for him. Getting that one worker killed. Yeah. 
Both playing going directly for Lair. Lair finishing a bit quicker for Nurcio. So we're probably going to see a Spire there very, very soon. And uh, both players are actually duking out in the middle. It's coming down to uh, Banelings and Zergling control. Uh, ooh, a good hit there. Both players are actually losing so much, but there's actually one uh, Baneling left here by Tefl. Yep, so the slight. Tefl getting the slightly better edge of that engagement. So we do see both these players are now getting their third hatcheries, and actually it's Nurcio who takes the gold base, so mm. I'm wrong. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, there's so many Zerglings on the way now. There's 14 Zerglings for Nurcio, whereas 4 is done for Tefl. So it's going to be the same thing again. He's going to try to snipe the hatchery. And we'll see if he succeeds right now. This could be really, really quickly. And the goal comes down to the Baneling hits, but nope. That's not going to happen. He's actually morphing in a few more defensive Banelings here just to be really, really sure that he keeps his base up. He knows what happened last time. Yep, we do see Tafel is going for that missile attack upgrade and he's getting that infestation pit. So he's going to be going again for that Roach Hydra Infestor type of composition that it seems like he does favor while Nurcio is t is going for his beloved Mutalisks. Well, Pathogen Glance is now finishing, or is starting researching right now for Tefl, so... And he sure loves those Infestors. Yeah, and he's really good at controlling them as well. Yeah, Pathogen Glance on the way, so he will be able to produce these Infestors. I believe they take 50 seconds, so right now, as soon as he... Yep, there they come. Three Infestors on the way. A couple more as soon as he has the resources. Five Infestors, there they go. Now he's out of the gas. All right, so um, let's see here. I, I've, to, I, I've told this many times before, but the gold base, I don't think it's a good idea to take it because it's so easy to cut it off from the rest of the main base reinforcements. I will see if I'm right in that, but now it comes down to actually a bit of an air battle here between both players, so that won't really matter. There's no spores in the main base. You know, it's one spore in the main base, two. The Zergling is barely able to squeeze into the main base, and they're going to pick off um, a little bit of indecision what you should pick off, so actually those two Zerglings will get cleaned up without doing too much damage. <laughs> they didn't pick off anything at all. Yeah. They're like, where should we they get? Pick off no, wait, hey, oh, this, <laughs> oh, no, boom. Boom. And down they go. That's, that's it. That's when you know what happens. Yeah, so Eleven roaches in production, and a Hydralisk done for Nurture. Mm. What's interesting is Nurture's going to have so much money because of that gold base, he needs to make at least one macro hatchery, if not two, just to be able to spend all that resources on thing. Well, he's going to go into probably Roaches of his own, so may possibly not. Uh, a few meters there lost by Nurture, just getting too close for base, and uh, all those uh, infestors actually snipe them pretty good, so that's a uh, nice pick up here. Yeah. As you mentioned, I agree that... Um, if this base gets cut off, for example, if your opponent is the roaching player, as these mutas are continuing to be annoying, if your opponent is the roaching player, then if they somehow get on, if they get to this ramp, then if they get up there, say goodbye to the base, say goodbye to all the drones, because you're never going to be able to get up that choke. But if he's yeah, able to prevent his opponent from getting there, then he, then it's probably just as safe as a, of a base as the other third. Yeah, so, uh, also, fourth base coming up here for Nurtio, nice. It's going really, really greedy. I like that. Yep. Uh, still, armor composition is looking really good here for Nurcio. Uh, he just needs to mix in Hydras in it to get uh, to get it really, really awesome, which he's doing right now. Surge missile attacks level two is all halfway done, whereas this this hasn't even started for Nurcio. So I guess he doesn't like it, or it's uh, he has forgotten it, or s no, he doesn't have any gas. That's why he's putting all of his gas into roaches. Yep, this Which last actually could be a mistake. Yeah, this last mutal is still being a little bit annoying, but this queen it looks like will pick it off before it can get any more kills. So only six workers have been killed by all these mutalists, so I don't think that's enough to justify the investment into those eight mutas or however many he made. Alright, so Tefl is actually moving out right now and that is a scary Ooh. army. Absolutely. Fungals, however, catching off a nice number of these roaches, so that's going to make Tefl want to engage, but you realize he just has to give up those units because that would have been a bad engagement for him, and now these two players are probably going to back off for now and try to 
not engage into a choke where they can where one player may actually choose to move in yes and um, Tefl actually follows the uh, the lead of Nurtio and gets a gold base of his own so it's uh, starting um, starting a few seconds ago so it's uh, it's gonna be really really vulnerable right there uh, Nurtio of course knows about this as he has an overload good position there um, Gets a bit of the units here from Tefl getting. Uh -oh. Co oh wow, this could be. Here's the trap I was speaking about. Yep, Nurture is actually going to get an incredible position here, and now Tefl's going to have to either just sit here or try to flank him. But he's just going to have to give up this third base from Lukovic because he just there's no way he can move in from this position here. The the map is so choked up going in that way for Tefl, so he just cannot engage at all. Oh man, uh -oh. good fungal going off and it's going to be a huge war. It's just half the army of Tefl against the full arm of Nurtio, but reinforcements are coming in from the side. Tefl is just powering Ooh. through. Oh, he's just dropping supplies and really good fungals here from both sides. Yeah, and I think Nurtio did get the better end of that engagement. We see the workers loss being slightly in his favor, but overall felt very even there. And this third base, actually this base at the gold somehow stayed alive for Tefl. Yes, it did, and uh, I'm not sure if gonna. Well, actually, Nurture doesn't do anything about it. He doesn't build anything air or something to be able to snipe it. So he's just going for it. But he's also going for the burrow, which, which I really, really like. Yeah, we see Carapace up here is going for both these players and that muscular augments, which is that hydralis speed, I do believe. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. So that is really, really important as you don't want too much creep spread on the map as your opponent can easily exploit it. So it's better to move faster off creep. And uh, the question is, do the Hydras have the uh, the range upgrades? I hope uh, so. I don't. I can't. Yes, they. Ha yes, they have. Okay. So both uh, actually, both oh. actually have them. So that's huge, actually a huge. Thing. A huge chunk of Tefl's army getting fungled there, but no fungals to chain it. So this is a pretty awkward engagement actually for both these players. But I think this is going pretty well for Tefl. Nurture is going to have to back up here, and now his army is kind of the Tefl's army is caught in between Nurture's army and his base, which is usually not a position you want to be in. So now Nurture's he's just continuing to be kind of trapped here. But Tefl's yeah, army getting over eager here and it's going to get fungled and a lot of these units are going to get lost for free. But now as Tefl is going to move in towards Nurtio's bases. Yeah, it's, uh, I could actually have cut everything off there but uh, he, would, he doesn't want a base trade and a good engagement. Oh. Good concave here by Tefl. It takes engagement full on. Good fungals as well and the units just melting away. Wow. Yeah, an and the great uh, hyper count is, is amazing. Tuffles units are so much damage. There's so many hydras. You're right. Now it's how, how do you stop? How can you stop this many hydras with just a handful of roaches? There's absolutely no way. No, you need really good fungals to do this, and there are almost no infestors for Nurtio as Tuffle has a really good job of just sniping them. He just sent in all the roaches, sniped. Uh, actually, wow, good fungal there as well. Being ambushed and more hydras coming in here from Nur uh, from Nurtio. Just catching Tefl's units here between the gold base. Yeah, Tefl, Nurtio getting, getting great fungals on all these engagements, but Tefl just having so much stuff. It's, there's just nothing that Nurtio can do here. He's going to lose this gold base, and he's going to potentially lose his third or natural, or pretty much whatever Tefl wants to attack as well. Yeah. Uh, luckily, the, go the gold base is really mined out, so um, Nurtio got everything he wanted from that, but he looks like he's killing every drone in both bases, so he's doing really 21 workers killed, 22. Oh man, this is looking really green. More and more units falling there, and there's a GG. So Tefl takes this 3 2. Yeah. Tefl defeats his comrade from Poland, and he will be the one to move on to the finals. He is guaranteed at least 75 euros and either a Zowie gear headset or keyboard. Yes, excellent for him.